We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the St. Louis Cardinals and the New York Yankees. Which of these two will prevail next on the show? Severino is on the mound for game two. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Matty B, this ought to be a lot of fun. This guy won the Cy Young Award last year in the AL, so he knows how to pitch. And one of the things he does effectively, he attacks the strike zone. And if he does that, he should be fun to watch in this one. So striding forward now, Conrad Chambers. He's assuming the role of DH in this interleague matchup. Yeah, Matt, that's one of the funny things about National League teams playing in AL ballparks. All of a sudden, the lineup kind of changes dramatically. But the cool thing is it gets more guys a chance to get some at-bats or time in the field. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. In there, a base hit. Hey, sometimes that's how a rally gets started right there. I know it's a soft liner, but leadoff man on usually poses problems. Standing in now, Jose Martinez. A ball of no strikes. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, tough to complain about the start they're off to. Four wins in their first five games. Yeah, Matty, I'm looking forward to this one. They got their ace on the mound today. You get to the ballpark, you're ready to go. You're watching video. You know this guy is going to put his best foot forward, execute pitches to all quadrants. The opposition's got to be on point if they're going to have a chance today. Throw over to first. One and one, here it comes. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Swing and a liner, but foul. Another 1-2 delivery. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two hit on the ground out to short to second for one on to first to double play. Now a chance to look at the starting nine for the visiting St. Louis Cardinals. Who's the one to watch Dan. Well you've really got to be able to appreciate the incredible talent of Paul Goldschmidt. This guy is one of the great hitters of all time. 300 batting average with 300 home runs. That is a tremendous combo. He's a fun player to watch. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. Goldschmidt, or Goldie just for short, he was an eighth round selection back in the 2009 MLB draft. What an absolute steal. I mean, he's, this guy has gotten a lot of people some big raises in the organization. To be drafted as low as he was and turned himself into one of the biggest superstars in our sport. I am very impressed with what this guy's been able to accomplish. Two balls and a strike now. A high fastball is in there. So let's take a peek at our umpire and crew in this one. Working the plate is Larry Bullard. Hey, behind the dish, d row Larry Bullard. Pretty standard guy, works it. Only problem, I think, at times, hitters have a little bit difficult time. He'll give a little bit on that inside corner and out. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Redbirds down quietly. And now the Yankees will see what they can do. No score. Peter Pena gets the start for St. Louis in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, taking a look at the numbers, you see that ERA a little under four last season. But I think his team and organization, they're expecting some bigger and better things out of him this year. We'll see if he can get off to a better start in this one. Stepping in, Torres. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading off, four by Yankee. The second base. Now the pitch. Torres. Trying to work that slider to the outer half, but it misses 1-0. and 
And fellas, we take a look at the Redbirds entering play here tonight. They come in trying to rebound after a loss that snapped a modest three-game winning streak. Yeah, guys, yesterday's loss was a tough one. A one-run loss. Hopefully they were able to just acclimate themselves to the city, get a chance to hit the streets, maybe regroup a little bit, and show up today ready to go. Line drive to left. O'Neill is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. With that, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the hometown Yankees. What's the key for them tonight, Hero? Well, Matty, you walk into this yard today, and it's nothing but a hitter's park. But that can work against you at times. You have to stay within yourself. You can't just be turning and burning on everything. Stay within the game plan and know that a mistake doubles leaving this yard. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. No balls in one strike. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw on to first, two gone. Stepping into the box, David Rosario, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here it comes. Late swing, but he's still able to get a lot of this one out toward deep right field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. And inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on the show. Stepping up now, Tyler O'Neill. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Nope. And that That's misses out. ball one. Ball one, no strike. A ball and a strike. From the windup, the one one pitch. And it's one and two. One ball, two strikes. Yep. to two balls and two strikes now in today's game everybody's trying to work off the mound north south trying to elevate that heater he wanted that pitch right there but I can tell you as an offensive player I'd rather there's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one without a doubt is gone there are certain guys in every lineup that you do not want to beat you and this guy right now is swinging the bat so well, I'm not giving him a chance to do anything. He's too hot right now. So Paul DeYoung digs in next. So look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. DeYoung in an 0-2 hole here. Man, as a pitcher, you have to love pitching 0-2. Multiple ways, up, down, in and out, throw the breaking ball, a lot of different ways to get guys out. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first down. My man on the mound has just got great strikeout stuff working for him these days. Looking back at his last start, he racked up nine Ks, and now he's looking like he can put up similar numbers in this one. Here's Colton Wong now. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Mancini is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. That is the center fielder, Harrison Bader. So that'll bring in Harrison Bader. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. And that's in there for strike one. Whoo, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. And he fouls this one off. Low and away with that one, it's one and two.
Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Here's another one, too. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. But the cards are on the board first, thanks to this solo blast. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's now 1 0 St. Louis. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. Here comes the first pitch. Big swing and a miss at the knuckle curve, strike one. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. He settles under it and makes the catch in the deepest confine of the ballpark. So here's how the Cardinals are positioned defensively. And this team, they're not going to be moving around as much as some of the new age teams. The shifting and moving the third baseman over second base and the right fielder to play third base. This is going to be your stationary team trusting pitchers to execute pitches. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. He swings and grounds it to short. And that is through into center field for a one-out single. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. At the plate, Gary Sanchez. He grounds it sharply to third. Long for one. On to Goldschmidt, and it's in time. A double play, and the side is retired. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Ball set for the start of the inning, and set to go is the third baseman, Drew Robinson. Drew Robinson. First offering on its way. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Hey, and this catches the inside corner. Good spot there. It's 0 and 2. You got to go into battle mode after falling down 0 2 and find a way to work yourself back to even. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. Well, there's the great equalizer. That change of El Cambio. Listen, if you can keep that pitch in your back pocket and pull it out when you need it like he did right there, usually hitters, they don't stand a chance. Jason Castro, the catcher, is in. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. When the pitcher on the mound's establishing this kind of heater, you got to come off everything else and find a way to get that bat head in the zone. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already, and there are two gone in the inning. Wow, talk about being efficient. How about six pitches, two strikeouts? It doesn't get much better than that. Chamber. In now, Conrad Chambers. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. And he'll watch the fastball miss down low. It's two and one. To two and two now. Two 
And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Fouled off. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out this side in order. Down in order go the Cardinals. But they lead it one to nothing. Bottom of the third now. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Clint Frazier. Here comes the first pitch. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. This one's down to third. Reined in. And quickly there's one down to lead off the frame. MLB The Show, your home for Yankee baseball all season long. As you get a look there at what's on tap for the Bombers over the course of the next seven days. One out here in the Yankees' third inning, and that'll bring up the power-hitting outfielder, Trey Mancini. Popped him up. Castro over to his left. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. On the ground for the shortstop, DeYoung. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. So stepping in, Jose Martinez. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Owen oh 2 the count to Jose Martinez. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. Stays alive, still 0 and 2. And he will take strike three call. He's got another one. Five straight strikeouts, and that's the first out of the inning. So with that, let's call on the guys in the graphics department to put up the pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And boy, which of those two numbers leap out at you there? How about the 100? My goodness. And that brings up Paul Goldschmidt. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. And now a pitch on the way. Hit hard down the line, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. And now a pitch on the way. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0 and 2. Hey, he finds himself down 0 2 with the quickness. I know he's a great two strike hitter, but this at bat, he's going to have to find a way to nickel and dime and get this thing back to even. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and two. Pulled high in the air out to left field. 
And this will be taken in out there just a few steps in front of the track, and there are two away now. Now batting the left fielder, Tyler O'Neill. So bases are empty here with two gone, and into bat next will be Tyler O'Neill. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 1. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Bottom part of the zone, and the slider is in there for a called strike. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ballgame, and that one ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. But they're on top, one to nothing. to go for the last half of the inning and that'll bring up the exciting middle infielder Glaber Torres. Here's the first pitch to him. Drilled on the ground to short. DeYoung fields it cleanly and that's out number one. here with the bases empty and that'll bring in DJ LeMayhew ready to deliver here's the first pitch and he throws the fastball by him here 0 and 1 rock solid performance up to this part of the ball game right now one of the keys 90 percent of his first pitches have been for strikes and when you do that you really make the hitter swing at the pitch oh and the throws wide as it gets by him at second Well, that's what he gets for trying to do too much. And instead of eating it and holding him on first, he panics a bit and sails the throw. Now he's got a man in scoring position and nobody to blame but himself. So now to the plate, David Rosario. Fouled away. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Comes set with the 0 and 1. to third. He's got it. And there are two away now. So striding in, Aaron Judge. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Too low, 1-0. One and oh, here it is. Hits it high and deep out to center field. Center fielder looking up. And they take the lead. It's gone. All rise, Aaron Judge. A two-run shot. Second home run early in the year. And the Yankees take the lead. It's two to one. Pitchers aren't going to throw this guy much of a fastball to try to challenge him because this guy can hit him a mile just like he did with that swing right there. Impressive power. Here's Miguel Andohar now. Line towards center field. Bader will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Yankees get a couple on the two run home run. We played four, two to one, New York.
Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cardinals to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. All right, thanks, Heidi. Paul DeYoung swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. I'm surprised we're seeing so many late swings on fastballs. If there's one rule of thumb in the game, get to the heat. Hit hard, but foul. Down the way, it's a ball and two strikes. Fastball well outside. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Pops this one up. Rosario waits on it. He's got it one away. Now that second base. Here's the second baseman, Colton Wong. He's 0 for 1 thus far. No balls and a strike to count. Here's one that misses high. It's 1 and 1. Hit on the ground out to short. And they are not going to get him at first. He's aboard easily. And yeah, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not, not everybody's bad. getting it right out of the shoot from step one. But I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D-Roy. And you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground. And you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out. And it just wasn't meant to be. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Hit the other way out toward right field. Frazier is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now batting, the third baseman, Drew Robinson. Drew Robinson, the next to dig in, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Now a first pitch changeup here. Too far inside, it's 1 and 0. Wong leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Yanked on the ground down the line. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One left for the Cardinals. They still trail it here 2 to 1. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. In the next to bat, the Dominican-born catcher, Gary Sanchez. First delivery to him on the way. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. The wind up and the 0-1. Uh, no plate discipline that time, and he's in the hole now, 0-2. Hey, that's the modern game right now. North-South. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the East-West we came up playing. Martinez is there, one away. Now that the right here, right here. Right So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Clint Frazier. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Lifted in the air to center. Center fielder on the run, and he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. The left fielder, number 20, Chris Manfredi. Striding in once again, Trey Mancini. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here comes the first pitch. Hit high and deep out to left field. 
And that one is gone! A solo shot here to left. First home run of the campaign for him. And it gives the Yankees a 3-1 lead. Everyone in the stadium, including the guy in the mountain, knew it was just a matter of time until this guy cranked one out of here. Well, that's the first one of the year, and many more are sure to follow. To the plate now, Jose Iglesias. Towards second. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. Yankees do get one on the solo homer. We're through five innings here tonight. It's now three to one Yanks. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Jason Castro. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ready with the 1-1 one, one pitch. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you. Oh, he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. He's just ringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. Into the box now, Conrad Chambers, as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. A hit in two tries for him so far. Swing and a miss, and he needs a little discipline here, 0-2. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's his wind-up. I don't know if it's just flat stuff, but he's getting a lot of swings outside the zone, and he's having a big game. One ball and two strikes to count. The one two lifted down the line in left left fielder is on the move he gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning the, back, the right fielder Jose Martino. so two gone now in the St. Louis half of the sixth and up next will be the right handed hitting Jose Martinez. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Racing back the center fielder. Still ranging back. Now a leaping effort at the wall, but he comes up empty. This one is gone. Home run. Solo shot to right center. First home run of the campaign for him. And the Cardinals are back within a run. It's now a 3-2 game. That bomb didn't tie things up. But they're only down one right now and feeling pretty good they can come back. At the plate now, Paul Goldschmidt. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one. Mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. A ball and a strike to the Cardinals' first baseman. Hits are now even at four apiece. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Again, he sends it out of play. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Judge is going back. On the warning track, he makes the catch. One for the Cardinals in the inning on the solo home run. Bottom of the sixth is straight ahead. It's the Yankees three and the Cardinals two. Bottom.
bottom of the inning now. And that will bring up Glaber Torres. For the Yankees. The second baseman. Glaber Torres. First pitch coming. Here it is. The bouncer to the left side. Throw to first is in time for the first out. The third baseman. DJ. Into the box now, DJ LeMayhew. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Heading out towards shallow right. Martinez is there, so two pitches and two outs thus far. Now that the first baseman, David. Into the box, David Rosario. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch on its way. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Wong has it on to first, and they don't come any easier than that. A three pitch inning, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. And it remains a 3 2 ball game. Tyler O'Neill will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning. We'll flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. Swing and a miss, one and one. Even though we're late into this ball game, this guy's velo is still top notch. This guy's a horse. A ball and two strikes now. Pops this one up. Rosario over to his right. He's got it one away. The back. The foot ball. Young. So that brings in the power hitting middle infielder Paul DeYoung. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. And it's fouled away. Skied into straightaway right. Frazier is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Next to the party, the second baseman, Colton Wong. Colton Wong will stand in. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. High in the air out to center field. Judge is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Down in order go the Cardinals. They're down three to two. Ryan Helsley gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 56, Ryan Helsley. Here's big Aaron Judge. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout and there's one gone. 
Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one-run game, especially this late, getting that first guy in the inning, it's so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning, so that was a big out. Stepping in now, Miguel Andujar. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Bader is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Now at the plate, Gary Sanchez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Here's the first pitch to him. High and deep down the left field line. And that's going to land foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. So the Yanks go one, two, three, but they still lead it three to two. Standing in, Harrison Bader. He flew out in his last at bat. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Side at 94, one ball and one strike. A ball and two strikes now. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. the ball lifted back toward the stands in right so we'll try it again at one and two now the pitch back up the middle and this is going to be through into center field for a base hit as the leadoff man's aboard in the eight you can't ask for anything more than getting a leadoff man on right there it brings the go ahead run to the plate he's in position to do some damage it'd be interesting to see how the manager plays this one comes the Yankee manager now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound and it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight so he'll depart with the lead and a chance to be the winner but he is responsible for the tying run at first Dylan Tensis is on the pitch here in the eighth with nobody out Into the box, Drew Robinson. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Oh, he looks like he's toying with him here. It's 0 and 2. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Tried to throw the fastball by him, but it's high, one and two. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. He throws him on the breaking ball that time. Drew Robinson goes down to become the first out in the eighth inning.
digging in once again. Jason Castro 0 for 2 for him to this point. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a fastball on the inside corner and he takes a look at strike one. Oh one count here's the pitch oh, on the ground is short could this be two Torres at the bag relay to first in time and just like that this side is retired no runs on a hit no errors and no one left home half of the eighth straight ahead the Yankees lead it three to two. of inning number eight set to go and digging in is the outfielder Clint Frazier he's ready here's the first offering oh had him chopping at that one it's nothing in one Wind up and the 0 1. Uh, had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0 and 2. Made him look silly with that one. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Digging in and looking for more, Trey Mancini. He's working on a one for two game so far. Very rarely, Matt, do you see a first pitch changeup hit out of the ballpark. That tells me right now that this guy was up there looking for the changeup in that last at bat. We'll see if they pitch him any differently here. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. At the plate, Jose Iglesias. He's rolled into ground outs a couple of times already here in the ballgame. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A bouncer to the left side. Throw in time, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They're up three to two. This Chapman comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Kicking off the top of the ninth, Conrad Chambers, and they'll need him to get something going here. Hey, it's never easy scoring runs against a closer, but this lineup is setting up perfectly right now as the leadoff hitter leads off this inning. Torres is there, one quick out to start inning number nine. Final line there for the Yankees starting pitcher. He was great all night long. Matty V really a solid performance. Seven strong innings pitched in line for the win. Needs some help for the bullpen to close this one out. So now to the plate Jose Martinez as he'll take a look at ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Changeup stays outside and is behind 2 and 0. Oh. And not the kind of swing you're hoping for on 2 and 0 oh as they bunch him up inside. It's 2 and 1 now. Not much you can do with that one. Tied him up in knots. Fastball and hmm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's 3 and 1. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Now the three and two pitch. 
On the ground to second for Torres. On to first, and that means the Cardinals are down to their final out now. Up next to the Cardinals, the first baseman, Paul Goldstein. Ready for another shot now, Paul Goldschmidt. And he's 0 for in this one, batting out of the three spot. He's set, here it comes. A great job pounding his own strike one. When you got a great hitter in the box, got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Ball one. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. Throw into second. And he'll be pulled out at second in a tough way to end it here as this ball game is over. Well, just another day at the office for these guys. That stretches their winning streak to five, and they're playing well in all three phases of the game. Pitching, fielding, and hitting. Who knows how long this will last? Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. New York took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Luis Severino gets the win on the mound his first of the year. Aroldis Chapman earns the save out of the bullpen, his third of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. First for the victorious Yankees, three runs, four hits, no errors, and they left one man on base. For St. Louis, two runs, six hits, one error, they left two men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 46 minutes. Our paid attendance here tonight at Yankee Stadium, 47,309. The Yankees thank you for attending and remind you to please get home safely.